Hi Aries, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your March uh, Love Tower reading for Mar March 2018. This is for Aries Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Um, you guys, I'm just doing the reading, the spread, a little bit different for this month. Um, I just was feeling some negative energy coming from the Pisces reading, and I don't feel that I, I feel it's more related to the spread and I don't feel like Pisces really got a good shot um, I mean it was pretty tough so I decided to try to do um, the rest of the readings a little more love infused um, and also I, I just feel like I need to change the spread so we'll see how it goes um, so you guys, if you need to get a reading from me, there's several different ways. Um, just check the description box below and you'll be able to, um, find out how to reach me. My website is currently under, um, construction and redoing it. So, but you can still book from there. Okay. No more talking. We'll get started. So this is similar to the Celtic cross spread. Um, but it's very general reading and they'll be a little quicker than normal but uh, I'll start you off so the past position here Aries you've got the forgiving and learning card as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments and I clarified that with the Queen of Cups so some of you may be dealing with a water sign male or female if it's male a little more on the feminine side uh, in that maybe looks a bit more feminine or um, just feminine and also not alpha male <laughs> kind of w way about him so there's some forgiving and learning in the past uh, maybe you have forgiven someone from the past maybe you haven't yet the situation maybe you've just put it behind you um, but if you haven't that could have something to do with maybe having difficulty finding love in your present because there may be something that needs to be let go of still in your past and this this could also be a water sign that you know needs to ask for your forgiveness for something he or she may have done okay so this could be a spouse an ex-lover current partner family member someone you work with anyone that you have an emotional connection to now your present okay it's the heart-to-heart -heart conversations and the judgment card so the judgment card can talk about you know also forgiveness you know bringing out into the light uh, truths okay so I do see that there will be some kind of a um, conversation that could take place in March uh, it could be conversation in regard to reconciliation or reconciling with the past uh, someone from your past um, but there's a need here to really open up so either someone is going to come forward and ask for your forgiveness and open up to you someone from your past tell you the truth if whether this truth is positive or negative I mean I could clarify to see what kind of information is going to come out maybe it'll let me know um, okay so not so great with the page of swords sorry you can't see the glare the page of swords um, there could be some conversation about someone's been spying or there's been obsessiveness or gossip or lies um, could some have something to do with a child for some of you um, or truth about some messages or things that may have been said that were harsh in the past either you said them to a water sign or vice versa 
And this doesn't have to be water sign. It could just be the description of a particular person. Um, I'm looking here. There will be some truth coming, though. What's driving you is to stay optimistic about your love life right so I feel like you're trying to remain positive about this whole situation and you will okay especially if it's someone whom you are romantically involved with you know um, you don't know what that person may have been doing maybe they've been watching you or spying on you and being a bit pos po uh, possessive or obsessive um, but you're still staying optimistic about <laughs> things working out some of you could be also dealing with a Virgo um, but you are staying optimistic yet you are not you're not gonna talk first if you have an apology if there's if so if you you and another person have an, a conversation or there needs to be an apology or forgiveness you're not you're not you're not going first that's really your thinking you feel like this person needs to come to you they need to apologize to you for what they've said or what they've done okay so you know you're staying optimistic that they will <laughs> because you feel you're in the right um, and this could be with someone you know a romantic partner so what's on your mind there's an unrequited love card here um, which is strange because you, you're staying optimistic about your love life but at the same time you don't feel like it's going to work out so you're kind of like struggling with that situation you know because there's a part of you that feels like that person is never going to apologize they're never going to say anything they're just going to you know and, and when you get in that place of feeling you know hopeless then you get back to trying to stay optimistic because for some reason I actually think the majority of you I feel like <clears throat> somebody owes you an apology that's what I feel like is going on someone owes you an apology for something they did or said and you're waiting for it even though there's a part of you that feels like they're not going to you're still waiting for it. I mean, I'm not saying you're sitting by the phone or you're just checking your phone every 10 minutes or spying on them. You could be watching to see if they're going to, you know, if they're making any signs or if they're saying anything. There could, you could have someone you're dealing with who's, you know, been saying things to other people, um, hurting you. And so, you know, I feel like you, you're, you're not going out of your way to push an apology from your partner or someone else, but you are, you're going to wait for it. And also at the same time, you know, you're, you're optimistic, but there may be a chance that you might be feeling like, you know what? Yes, you owe me an apology, but I'm sorry, I can't forget what you said or what you did right so you could have a lot of that different energy going on you know where you're trying to stay optimistic but at the same time you're like I don't know if this is gonna work because you really hurt me with the things you said or the things you did you know um, and and this can go both ways so you're gonna have to just you know if, if you did some if you if you did some damage and now you're on damage control then, you know, that's for you to figure out, you know, if it's you that needs to apologize, you know, or wants to, you know, it's tough to, <laughs> but when, I think when you really care about someone, but I guess you just have to figure out, it's all different for each one of you, but the elements and the energy for this all to occur, I feel like is going to be present, okay, um, you might get a surprise. This person may wind up coming to you and, you know, revealing everything to you in a conversation, telling you the truth. Because you have a reconciliation card here as the outcome. Okay, so whatever the falling out was or whatever the, the issue was with someone, 
I do see the judgment card is reconciliation and the reconciliation card. So, yeah, the Ace of Swords, overcoming communication problems. That's really, I feel like that's really what this, it's really what this relationship needs is communication. There's new potential for a new beginning to overcome serious op serious problems that have happened or conversations or things that were said. The Ace of Swords is a truth-telling card. So whatever comes out here, I think is going to be now on board, you and this person. No more lies, no more bull, no more um, sneaky behavior. Uh, whoever, I don't know what happened in the past, but, you know, I feel like your energy is now, you, you may be ready to forgive someone because I feel like they're going to come out and be open with you. You're not crazy hopeful about it because for you, you're listening to this reading and thinking there is no way this person is ever going to apologize. There's, it's just not who they are. They're never going to own up to their mistakes. They're never going to, you know, say the things they need to say. And if the month passes and that doesn't happen for you, then this message just, it wasn't directly for you. Then it would just be for other people. Um, but I know some of you are going to get some type of um, apology and reconciliation. So I feel hopeful for you. And also I want to say vice versa. If you have... Uh, an apology to make to someone about something that may have happened in the past. This person may be feeling the same way. You know, they're trying to stay optimistic, but they're not so sure you're going to open up. They're not so sure that this can work out, but they're waiting. Okay, so if there's a time or a purpose or something comes up where you do need to reveal yourself or try to make a, a wrong turn right. This is the opportunity to do that because I do see it actually working out. I do see reconciliation um, with someone from your past, recent, distant, 20 years, who knows, whatever the fallout was, and a new beginning and overcoming and letting go of this heartbreak, you know, no more of that overcoming heartbreak okay Aries so that was your reading and I hope that was a little more positive <laughs> um, and I'm sorry for the change up I know some of you get fixed and you like certain I know certain spreads are great but I just wasn't feeling it I felt it for Pisces but I'm just not feeling it now I might actually do Pisces over again um, but Again, check the description box below if you need a reading, and I'll see you next month. Okay, bye.